Every two years, the world's top university winter athletes come together to compete for glory in a student's version of the Winter Olympics. The 2009 edition saw China host a multi-winter sport competition for the first time in the nation's history. It's all about competition, bringing uh, university students together from across the world in various uh, winter sports. The whole city of Harbin has been extremely nice to us. Uh, the Athletes Village, everybody's so friendly. It's been a, a really positive experience for all the athletes here. It's just great. It's so many people who's working here and all the things they're doing, it's just amazing. And also the opening ceremony, it's almost like the Olympic Games. China hoped to make it as close to an Olympics as possible. The Winter University ad was seen as Harbin's first step towards hosting the Winter Games in the future. And who better to light the flame than their hometown heroes? World and Olympic figure skating silver medalist Dan Zhang and Hao Zhang. We felt very happy and excited to have the privilege of being torchbearers and lighting the opening flame. In our hometown and the place where we study, it was even more significant for us. We found the whole experience very impressive. We regard the university ad as a practice. We've got one more year to prepare for the Olympics, so we treat every competition very seriously. Also looking for medals was the Swiss ski team. Their elite athletes finished top of the World Championship medal table in February. It was now the turn of the future generation. When some people of your country are winning so many medals, it's an inspiration for us. That would be good to do the same, and I think we are also able to, to do it, maybe better. <laughs> And they didn't disappoint on the opening day with Sandro Bona and Tamara Wolf winning downhill gold. At the top it was really cold and stormy and a lot of snow was crossing the slope. So it was a bit difficult to ride and it was a good run and a lot of fun so <laughs> I liked it. They went from strength to strength with Bona and Wolf also taking Super G victories to lead Switzerland to the top of the Alpine skiing medals table with seven golds from ten events. Lower down the slopes, China's world champion Nina Li took advantage of the home support to win freestyle aerials gold. I think we all found it very difficult today because there were strong winds. However, I feel truly happy that the Chinese team performed to our usual standards and achieved success. Back indoors, the battle to top the medals table was hotting up. Dan Zhang and Hao Zhang lived up to their billing and, as expected, claimed gold. But China still lay second in the table behind Korea, who were dominating the speed skating. We have great training centers, and each skater is very strong. Even the young skaters have built up good basic ability through systematic training. I think that's why Korea continue to perform well. However, led by three-time world champion, 17-year-old Yang Zhu, China surged clearing the medals table after proving more than a match for Korea in the short track. I felt no pressure because this was my first university yard. There were so many Chinese spectators and this brought me huge motivation. Another big draw in Harbin was the ice hockey, where the big favourites were Canada whose players grow up watching the world's top hockey league, the NHL. It's different because, I mean, those guys are playing professionally and uh, we're university students, but, uh, you know, our opening game was against China and every time they touched the puck, the crowd went crazy. And, you know, playing in that kind of atmosphere is uh, pretty special and we don't want to put too much pressure on ourselves, but we're just here to have fun, play the game, and, you know, things will work out from there. Despite their women defeating China to claim gold, Canada was surprised by Russia in the men's final with two late goals. But with 18 goals, the host nation China delighted the crowds by topping the medals table. And with a successful winter university ad over, the world's brightest young athletes moved their sights to elite competition. I really hope to have a lot of success also in the real world championships, maybe Olympic Games, we'll see you. The Olympics come in less than a year. There are about 10 competitions before then. Wins like this help boost our confidence and we'll strive to once again get a good result in the Olympics.